new theories on quantum entanglement seem to affirm that the mind exists in another dimension. The relationship between mind and brain comes from the origins of Western culture, as a focal point in the analysis of the human being. In this regard, several hypotheses have been developed, the progress of neuroscience and the continuous studies on the subject, propose further contents on this mysterious, with truly significant aspects. Some scholars argue that the mind is strictly a function of the brain, and that the so-called mental phenomena are circumstances that depend exclusively on an electrochemical state of the brain. A great part today, however, is trying to understand scientifically, the existence of an independent mind, or at least to a certain extent, separated from the brain and connected to the spirit, consciousness. The scientific journal Neuroquantology, which brings together neurosciences and quantum physics, publishes an article in September 2017 that reviews the issue. The study presents a unitary model, which redefines the physics of consciousness and information dynamics, in the brain space, which would occur between the various levels of the universe and living systems. The paper presented by Dr. May Edger, professor at the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, and by Dr. G. Zink, biophysicist expert in nanotechnology and electromagnetic shielding, exposes the study that led them to identify a new system of information exchange between mind and brain, leading them to conclude that the living system and the information processes underlying the consciousness are based on a much deeper and more fundamental level of the universe. The doctor in his research, Major states, our brain is not an independent information processing organ, it acts as a central part of our nervous system and continuously exchanges information with the organism and the cosmos. In this study the brain is seen as integrated into a holographic field and structured in such a way as to interact with the sensitive structures of the cells of the human body. In order to explain early ultra-rapid responses of the brain and the effective operation of the metastable neural system, a mental receptive field is proposed that communicates with the brain. Our nervous system is seen as a network composed of multi-cavities, which interacts with the aforementioned metacognitive domain. It integrates, among others, discrete schemes of own frequencies, eigenfrequencies, of photonic, solitonic waves, constantly updating a symmetrical memory space over time of the individual. Its toroidal organization allows the coupling of gravitational energy, dark and zero point, ZPE as well as of the Earth's magnetic field energy, transmitting information in the brain tissue, necessary for the process of conscious and subconscious information. We propose that this receptive field, interacting with the nervous system, generates self, consciousness and operates from a fourth spatial dimension, hypersphere. Its functional structure is adequately defined by the geometry of the toroid, seen as a basic unit, operator, of space-time. The latter is instrumental in collecting the pattern of solitonic frequencies that provides an algorithm for coherent life processes. It is postulated that consciousness in the whole universe emerges through invariant coupling of scale and toroidal, of various energy fields, which may include quantum error correction. In the brain of the human species, this takes the form of the proposed holographic workspace, which collects active information in a horizon of cerebral events, representing an internal model and integral of the self. This superior space is equipped to convert coherent waves of energy into stationary, attractive waves that guide the cortical environment in a superior coordination of reflection, action and network synchronicity, as required by states of consciousness. In relation to its invariant scale character, we find support for our universal information matrix, described above, as an order implicated in a spectrum of theories of current physics. The presence of a receptive field and resonant workspace, associated with, but not reducible to, our brain, can provide an interpretation for transpersonal states of consciousness widely reported, but little understood even though the algorithmic origin of life. It also points to a deep connection of humanity with the cosmos and to our superior responsibility for the future of the planet. In other words, the mind is a field that exists around the brain, collects information from the outside communicates it to the brain in an extremely fast process. The Dr. Major has described this field, alternatively, as a receptive mental workspace, a metacognitive domain, as well as a global memory space for the individual. 
In fact, there is an unresolved mystery in neuroscience called a binding problem. Different parts of the brain are responsible for different things. Some parts work on color processing, others on sound processing, and so on. But somehow it all comes together as a unified perception or conscience. The information joins and interacts in the brain more quickly than can be explained by our current understanding, on neuronal transmissions, it therefore seems that the mind is much more than just a set of neurons in the brain. Neuroscientists are still looking for a mechanism for this bond of disparate parts of brain information processing. Major, on the other hand, has transformed into quantum entanglement and tunneling for part of the answer. L entanglement quantum is a phenomenon in which the particles appear to be connected over vast distances. When actions are performed on one of the particles, the corresponding changes are observed on the other one simultaneously. The quantum tunneling, on the other hand, is a phenomenon in which a particle crosses a barrier that should not be able to follow according to classical physics. These quantum phenomena allow such rapid processes, which cannot be explained by classical physics. So they can help explain ultra-fast subconscious mental processes. The principles of quantum physics can explain how the mind processes information. Mind and brain, according to Major, are connected. They are unified but separate, and the principles of quantum physics could explain how the mind processes information. Major hypothesizes that the mental field is in another dimension. The fact that we cannot directly perceive this aspect of information is traditionally attributed to a fourth hidden spatial dimension, which cannot be observed in our three-dimensional world, but can be derived mathematically. He clarified that this fourth spatial dimension is not time, time is commonly described as the fourth dimension. Rather, this is a concept of space-time that includes four spatial dimensions, in addition to time. Some studies have suggested that this concept of dimensions could reconcile the mismatches between traditional physics and quantum physics, which today afflict scientists. Major imagines a sort of screen or border between the external world and the individual mental field. Compare this limit to the event horizon of a black hole, it is assumed that information entering a black hole from the outside is not lost, but rather it is projected onto its external screen called the horizon of events, wrote Major, consciousness is a condition on the border between a singularity, black hole, and the space inside the brain. The event horizon separates a mental model of reality for internal use in each individual from everything what exists outside of it. Yet it is connected to a universal information matrix. The ability of the mental field to collect information from other fields, as conceived by Major, could also explain some anomalous phenomena such as extrasensory perception, the professor observed and since quantum physics emerged scientists have explored his ability to explain the conscience. Major's work is part of this exploration. Like Major, Penrose and Hameroff, they argue that there is a connection between the biomolecular processes of the brain and the basic structure of the universe. Hameroff said in an interview with the Singularity blog, most scientists cannot explain consciousness in the brain so they cannot even say that this theory is impossible. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.